Hi guys, welcome to TechBase. Welcome to the first video of the year 2024. Well, we're starting with a video in which I'll show you how to customize your start menu using a third-party app, which is called Start11. We've talked about Start11 before, but it received quite a lot of updates, and maybe it would be interesting to see what are those new features and what can Start11 do in order for us to be personalizing our start menu and other aspects of our Windows 11 operating system. Just a quick disclaimer, I'm not sponsored at all by Stardoc or Start11. I'm just showing you this application because I find it quite interesting and of course you must know that this app is a commercial one so you can try it out for free for 30 days so why not maybe 30 days you can see if the app is for you or not inside the Windows 11 experience so if you enjoy videos like these please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the tech page channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this so let's begin with the video of course you can get Star 11 from the official website it now received the version 2.0 you can click on the blue button to activate the free trial which is a free trial for 30 days. After you install the app, the app looks something like this. As you can see, it has a main interface and also some tabs in the left side. We have options related to the start menu, start button, taskbar, taskbar pins, search, control, settings, backup, about, and of course, the option to buy the software if you're interested in that. Of course, we're mainly going to focus on the start menu options and settings, but I'm also going to briefly show you the other options. So right now, when we install the app, the start menu will automatically be selected as the Windows 7 style. So as you can see, it looks something like this. For those of you who are nostalgic or older operating systems, for example, Windows 7, I think this would be a fit for you. And as you can see, it's working. It's reliable in my opinion. The Windows 7 start menu was a good start menu. It's not looking as great in my opinion, design-wise, as the Windows 11 start menu, but it does its job. Now let's see other start menus. For example, the modern style, an updated Windows 7 style. Let's see how this would look. As you can see, this is an updated Windows 7 style, which also has rounded corners and it's matching the Windows 11 experience if you ask me so I think this is pretty good it has all the other options the shutdown and so on let's go to the Windows 10 style and see how that is looking as you can see we have a Windows 10 style start menu which we can resize and I think that is pretty interesting in my opinion and it's looking very nice we have the tiles here basically the pinned apps which you can right click on and also resize as you can see in Windows 10 we were able to resize the tiles to small medium wide large we would be able to change the icon and so on i think that is pretty interesting and the windows 10 style store menu in windows 11 is looking pretty decent in my opinion let's also see the windows 11 style but it has some improvements so if we open it we're going to notice that we have the pinned apps recent documents and also some additional buttons at the bottom in my opinion it's not looking really good as you can see we have multiple pinned sections which we can remove or add multiple of them in my opinion is not looking that great it's just a windows 11 start menu which is filled with a lot of other information but for those of you who want something like this why not we also have a windows app style an updated windows 11 style so if we open it we have this huge start menu with basically some of the windows 10 and windows 7 Seven features combined with the pinned and recent documents and then in the right side we have suggested apps recently installed or the all apps section of course our username and also the buttons that we saw at the bottom of the previous start menu this is looking way larger for my personal preference but of course I'm looking forward to see your opinion in the comments below and um, what start menu you would like to have in Windows 11 we also have Windows Pro style so if we open it as you can see it's looking yet again kind of similar but it's a little bit more minimalistic more intuitive and if i were to go for a start menu style maybe this would be the one because it's looking pretty good and you still have basically all the functionalities from the default windows 11 start menu but you also have in addition some other options in the right side and finally we have windows launcher style and here as you can see it's looking pretty interesting with a search bar at the top of the start menu and basically the same start menu at the bottom for now i'm just going to stick with the windows pro style and also also, at the bottom we have configure menu adjust color transparency icon size and many other and I think this is pretty interesting and you have a lot of options that it can do for example you can change the shortcuts list you can manage custom filtered folders customize menu visual appearance you can see you have a lot of options you can change the font colors and so on adjust the mic effect the transparency I think the developers of Start 11 have done a really good job in my opinion it's an app that would be too much of a bargain to be free so I'm thinking that it's pretty much justified to be a commercial app because it has a lot of options and just for you to know it's not easy to apply these kind of customizations especially on Windows 11 when Microsoft is trying to limit them as much as possible.
possible. Of course, you can play around with settings and see what you like, what you don't. Of course, you have some advanced settings, which will basically allow you to customize the start menu in the most advanced way. And if you ask me, this app has all you need to have in order to customize your start menu. But let's move forward to the start button. And when we're moving our start button at the left, we will be able to change our Windows 11 start image. So we can do something like this. As you can see, we have a lot of options from where we can try triangle one. Maybe we have this one. It's not looking that bad. And we have a whole bunch of other things that we can do here. So this is only working when you have the start menu at the left of the taskbar. Now, of course, we also have some taskbar customizations. And these are some in-depth taskbar customizations. And um, of course, some of the options here are now available in Windows 11. So I'm thinking that Microsoft is listening and following certain apps that are enjoyed by users and are trying to implement those things in the operating system. As you can see, the never combined taskbar icons, which was a very, very requested feature, was added by uh, Microsoft. And uh, I think that is a pretty good thing. We also have the taskbar pins, which will basically allow you to also pin folders in the taskbar. If someone is interested in that, we also have search. And basically, this will use the start 11 search in the start 11 start menu and also other options here, for example, show search results, filtered icons, and so on. In the control section, we have certain controls that we can customize related to our keyboard or mouse, and this could also be useful. We also have the settings backup. Basically, if you want to use the same settings that you've personalized to another computer, you can just export the settings and import them back again on your other computer. So overall, in my opinion, the non-biased opinion is that this app is a great app, and it could be the best app out there that allows you to customize the Windows. Windows 11 start menu taskbar search and so on because it has a lot of options basically you have little to no limitations when it comes to customizations because you can change the colors the fonts and so on it basically allows you to customize Windows 11 start menu and taskbar in the most advanced way I've seen on other apps as well so of course feel free to try start 11 for free 30 days and you can get an idea of how the app looks maybe try to use it for 30 days and see how it is after that after the trial and how we can cope with without the app installed on your computer and with your personalized settings. So basically, this was the video for today. I hope you liked it. If you did, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I was Emmanuel from TechBase. Until next time, have a nice day.